Hello, we are back. We are here for another episode of Towel Talk. I am your host, Tim. Tim, the Tech TV Towel. This is my show in some kind of horribly lit conference room. This is all you get when you're a towel, but what am I going to do? We are lucky enough to be here with one Morgan Webb. Hello, Morgan. Morgan, thank you for, for being my guest on Towel Talk. Let's get down to the questions. You're a busy woman. So, if you had to guess, just, you know, wild guess, judging from emails and, and, you know, scary letters and stuff like that, how many fans would you say are in love with you? Oh. Like a percentage. They just say they are. Does it count if they're under 14? Yes, fine. Okay. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of younger fans. So is this... Is this creepy? Is this scary to you? No, it's cool because I'm not threatened by it or anything. You know, it's fine. It's just like one of the parts of the job. It's like a fun thing. You know, I mean, you get your email. Sometimes you get sent boatloads of Sharpies. No, Sharpies, Smarties, that's what they're called. Candy. Yes, candy. Candy is a good thing. We all like candy. So what did you do before you came to Tech TV, to this glorious place? What, what did you do for a living? Before I did, like... Um, web stuff like I was in charge of a website for dot com so we just like you know I did lots of like a little bit of JavaScript kind of thing like just kind of like maintenance but nothing complicated at all and like just sort of doing all you know contracting out stuff and then before that so you're young but I mean you went to college what what did you study in in college I studied rhetoric rhetoric what I have no idea what's rhetoric Rhetoric is like the study of language and semantics and words to express meaning and argument. So we studied a lot of philosophy and looked at the arguments that people would make and you know, how they chose what words to make them and how they use like certain different types of arguments to make them. And so basically it's a lot of philosophy, but you're studying the arguments of the philosophy as opposed to the philosophy itself, which appealed to me because it had like a stronger, more realistic base than philosophy could, but I still got to study philosophy and be all esoteric and everything. And I studied, I think it was really good because I, I wrote a lot, um, so they really helped my writing. And I studied Italian, too, and a minor in Italian. So you speak Italian. You speak the Italian. Hey, hey, hey. Well, well, the, speak to me in Italian, Morgan Webb. I want to hear. Say something. Say something. Basta così. Andiamo. Hey, yes. Spaghetti, ra ragu, pasta. Uh, yeah, I speak too a little bit, but yeah, no, I can speak. I can speak. A I can speak a little bit of Italian. I can read, but I can't really. Um, I can't really speak that well anymore. So, did you ever think you were going to be on a TV show, an internationally televised television program about technology? No, I never wanted to be on TV. I did radio. At my old job was a radio station, but um, no, no TV. I heard a rumor that you were. A child actor. I was, yes. So, so what's that all about? Tell me, huh? I was a very outgoing child, so they, you know, they just stuck me in commercials. I was sort of outgoing, very cute. I had little brown pigtails and like very talkative and everything. So, what, what, what would we have seen you in? What is a Morgan Webb child acting job? I just did a bunch of, like McDonald's and like Kenner and I don't know what else. McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's. That's nothing. Nothing to. The laugh at them. McDonald's is a serious business. Is this a famous commercial? Big famous Mac, Filet, Fish, a quarter pound of French fries, ice cold, thick shakes, Sundays, and apple pies, and your little coffee game. You, Morgan Webb, you were in that commercial. There was just a bunch of them. I had to eat with like Sundays and stuff on the beach. Did you get there was a light up McDonald's stand castle. There's so many McDonald's commercials you even remember, you know, like. I remember that one with the slapping hands. You know, me and my kid sister, you know, she's just. She's just like a band-aid, but we used to slap hands. We used to do a little slap and big pig back from like a fish, quarter pounder with the cheese. You know, I'm not, I'm not that old. You know, we used to hang out at McDonald's and, and do that kind of stuff. But that's cool. That's cool. It's great. So, like, what is the sketch? You get like three McDonald's for life. You get, can you bring friends? Can I come? Can you give me a free lunch? Unfortunately, or fortunately, probably fortunately, they do not. All right. So when you meet people. When you meet people, you know, in a park or something, a grocery store, and, and they're talking to you, what what do you tell them? Do you tell them what you do? Are they confused? I don't usually say. I usually just say, like, I work at Tech TV. Because I, I don't want to talk about it. You know, like, cause everybody wants to talk about it all the time. Everyone's, like, if you meet someone, they want to hear all about your job. And the 15th time you explain it, like, it's just kind of like, I'm in marketing. <laughs> yeah. So they then they stop asking because no one wants to talk to somebody like that, you know. 
So how do you know all this stuff about Windows? You, it's like the, the order of like expertise is like Bill Gates, Steve Ballmer, Morgan Webb. That's how it works. How do you know all this stuff? For um, for Windows tips, I just sort of like I think of something that if I've like used something or something I use and I put it on or like kind of look around the web or people I'm on newsletter things and sometimes I get like ideas for like little tricks, but I don't know. They just come to me from many different areas. So you really, you hate Macintosh. Is this true? You really don't like Macintosh. You want it to go away. You love Windows. I, I can't stand Windows. This is the expose. I can't stand it. Um, I use Linux at home as much as possible, except for some things I have to boot into Windows for. And if I could afford a Macintosh, I would buy one, but I can't. So I have to, you know, get free Linux and put it on my computer at home that I already have. And the reason I can't stand Windows is not because it's a bad operating system, it's because I work on it all day at work, and I obsess over it, and I fiddle with it, all those stupid little finer points. When I go home, like the, I want to relax. I don't want to, you know, be at work. So I, don't, I try not to use Windows, because it feels like work to me. All right, okay. This has been wonderful. Thank you very much, Morgan Webb. I'm sure that our fans will really appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tim. This has been a lot of fun.